Hey everyone, Assistant Narrator Richardson here, same old, same old. <laughs> I'd like my own office. I have to share this one with as many people as can be, to be fair. I only get an hour to record. All my co-workers come in to use the computer to go on their social media and stuff. Anyway, let's get on with this SCP, shall we? Item number SCP-6579. Restriction level, level 2. Containment class, Archon. Disruption class, Kenick. Risk class, Critical. Special containment procedures. All Foundation personnel which have been killed by SCP-6579 are to be incinerated via weaponized drone units operated by shyguy.aic. Containment procedures addendum. Access to Dr. Cambridge's office is completely restricted. Investigation into SCP-6579 is to be entirely carried out by shyguy.aic. Description. SCP-6579 is an entity or object presumably occupying the office of the late Dr. Cambridge, a Foundation researcher specialising in anti-memes, located in Site-41. SCP-6579 is most likely some form of virulent info hazard that is capable of spreading its properties through human beings it has already affected. SCP-6579 is the most likely cause of death for Dr. Cambridge. Any human being who views Dr. Cambridge, or who spends a significant amount of time observing his office, is terminated by SCP-6579. Additionally, any human who views another human killed by SCP-6579 is likewise terminated. As such, research into SCP-6579's properties is highly inconclusive as any attempts to observe the effects of SCP-6579 result in its activation. All that is known is which Foundation personnel have been killed by SCP-6579, as determined by shyguy.aic. Their interactions with SCP-6579 and their causes of death are unknown. Incident Log the following is a log of all incidents involving SCP-6579, which have been relayed in such a manner that reading such logs is unlikely to result in death. Incident 6579.1-1 Dr. Garner, a close associate of Cambridge, enters the hallway leading up to the latter's office. He opens the door and shortly after entering the office, is immediately killed by SCP-6579. Incident 6579.1-2 Dr. Simmons and Fitzgerald enter the hallway. Both of them notice that the door has been left ajar, walk towards it and are immediately terminated by SCP-6579 upon entering the room. Incident 6579.1-3 Dr. Leroy enters the hallway and notices the legs of Dr. Fitzgerald sticking out of Cambridge's office. He immediately pulls the lever on the wall to activate the alarm, locking down the site and activating shyguy.aic's adaptive containment algorithm. Leroy slowly walks towards the office, and upon being able to view Fitzgerald's head, is terminated by SCP-6579. Incident 6579.1-4 Unit 2 of MTF Mu-15, September, enters the hallway. The unit is led by Agent Ward, who is terminated by SCP-6579 as he approaches Dr. Leroy. All other members of the unit are progressively killed by SCP-6579. Following Incident 6579.1-4, shyguy.aic completed its automated threat supervision and containment contingencies and restricted access to the hallway leading towards Dr. Cambridge's office. Shortly thereafter, shyguy.aic completed its containment protocol generation algorithm and constructed the SCP-6579 documentation. All of the personnel terminated by SCP-6579 were incinerated by weaponized drones and agents were permitted access to Dr. Cambridge's office. Incident 
Unit 3 of MTF Mu-15 entered Cambridge's office. After several minutes of investigation, all members of the unit were terminated by SCP-6579. Following the incident, access to Dr. Cambridge's office was again restricted, and shyguy.aic reconsidered and revised the existing containment procedures for SCP-6579. Addendum 6579.1 an investigation of Dr. Cambridge's office was carried out by drones operated by shyguy.aic. After several minutes, it was discovered that Cambridge's computer had been recording audio since shortly prior to his death. The recording was ascertained to contain information which could activate SCP-6579. A transcript was taken by shyguy.aic for further analysis. In the years that I've studied antimimetics, I've been able to teach lots of new members of the division about anti-memes. In general, an anti-meme refers to information which prevents itself from being shared or remembered. It is the opposite of a meme, which is standard unit of information, one that will naturally spread. Naturally, the anti-memes we deal with are anomalous in nature. They literally cannot be remembered or communicated. But there are also non-anomalous anti-memes, secrets which, because of what they are, prevent the people who know about them from sharing them. So, we have anomalous and non-anomalous anti-memes. But the common thing between both of them is that they both operate based on the information they carry. Considering the very basic definition of an anti-meme, could that mean there are other ways an anti-meme could operate? like physically preventing people from remembering or sharing information, they're not really meant to be encompassed by the traditional definition of an anti-meme, because the information itself doesn't actually prevent the sharing of information. I'm not really certain what a non-anomalous anti-meme like this would be, but I definitely think an anomalous version could exist. Like SCP-096's face is an anti-memetic, if you see it, you won't remember it for very long, because it will inevitably kill you. You could also consider some equations to be anti-memetic, seeing as the bear almost always ends up killing you anyway. Other things could be like a baseball bat that hits you in the head and gives you amnesia when you remember it, or a gun that, when you think about it or investigate it, manifests and... <laughs> I don't think I was supposed to read- Oh no, the poor assistant narrator Richardson again. Don't worry, there'll be a new copy of him for the next video. I just want to say thank you to the author, Calibold, for writing this amazing SCP. It's very original and I really liked it. Uh, and that is it. Anyway, check out my Patreon in the description if you want to support me further. And check out my Twitter for any updates. That will be it for this one, and I shall see you later. Goodbye.